Hey, what's up everybody? Lewis here, and today we're going to be continuing our adventure in Pinstripe. Uh, due to the game's length, there's probably only going to be three parts, so this is going to be the second. It's a pretty short game. I think I mentioned that in the first video. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. This is exactly where we left off last time. Bless my bosom, sis. Teddy bear, is that you? It's nice to see you, Teddy. Where's my little friend Bo? Oh, did he now? Dickie's pulled a fast one on you, I'm afraid. So, are you going to get me out of this contraption or not? Aiming this little slingshot's a little bit harder than it looks. Kinda of finicky. Gotta hit this last lot. There she goes. I'm guessing you meant to do that? Regardless, I think you may have killed her. At least you were nice to her before she fell to her death. She really was a sweet old lady. Um... To Miss Birdie, may her soul fly forever and ever through the sky and into the heavens. Amen. Amen. Those are some beautiful words, Georgie. They really were. Get those two teardrops. So we're going to need... 300 teardrops later on in this game, and right now we're sitting at 31, so we still got a little ways to go. <laughs> oh, Teddy, that was insane. But <clears throat> Dicky has something to say to you, don't you, Dicky? Uh, I lied, but I just wanted help finding my little birdie. Pinstripe lives down in Red Wash. Deep in the bowels of hell. I'm afraid he's probably locked your sweet bow in his creepy parsonage. To get there, you need light. Let's see if I've still got it. Oh, oh yes, here it is. One night, after Bow and I were playing with her toys, she gave me this odd piece of paper. I wonder if it could help you find light. You can examine the clue later if you forget it. See the clue icon flashing down at the bottom of the screen? That's where you can check out all the clues you found on your journey. The game is sort of self-aware. I mean, that dialogue doesn't really make sense in the world. Sure to examine them closely. Anyways, we'll meet you down in Red Wash. I'm sure we'll find Bose. That's part of, earlier in part one, there was a toy box, and we had to have a four-digit code, and that ten is part of the code. Uh, little lady droppings. If you see her, you gotta jump on her butt, man. Giant turd laying around. <laughs> 
So when Georgie said you have to jump on her butt, he was actually being literal. This is one of the creatures, and when I first played this game, it took me forever to figure out how to beat it. I mean, obviously you can't shoot it. And it's pretty easy, kind of like Mario. You just jump on it. Oh, it hit me. Oh my god, it got me twice. Oh well. So yeah, that's all you do. Jump on it like five or six times. There's also an achievement in this game for completing it without being hurt. Obviously, I just failed that, but it's kind of tricky. It's got her strung up. That's pretty, uh, pretty disturbing. It's, it's a poor bow right there. That was a fail. Oh, my timing's all off right now. So it's a four digit code. And if I remember correctly, so it says 10 tablets. And on the pill bottle, it says stage four treatment, and the tablet section is crossed out. So the 10 tablet, so it's 4103. Voila. Open cool system. headlamp. Cool headlamp. It's lined with, like, flower doodles. Select the icon to turn it on and off. Not really worried about dying or anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and save it just to be safe. Never be too careful. Oop. Now that we got the uh, headlamp, we can head back down to where we couldn't go in the first episode. It was too dark. We just press Y, as you can see, a little headlamp comes on.
Hello, Ted. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed. Unfortunately, Bo has been spending some time hanging out in my parsonage. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing your pretty boy face at the ceremony. The adoption ceremony, you screw on! Ta-ta, big boy! That guy's got some major issues, and did he just thrust at us? <laughs> uh, I forgot he did that. That's really, really weird. Here's a uh, the door another, is locked with uh, a golden padlock. Another door with a golden padlock on it. Again, once you beat the game, you unlock a golden key, and you can access. This is the third area, I believe, the secret area that you can access, and there's a bunch of uh, teardrops in there so you can buy all the other items. So this is like a uh, like a lock pick. It's like a timing lock pick thing. You gotta press X on the bell or the lock or whatever the hell it's supposed to be, and you gotta do it before it runs out of time. So that one's easy. It's only three. He should be here by now, right? We should be here with more fruit. <laughs> Seems like he's got an addiction to the the fruit. It says save on the wall. It's kind of creepy. That old man, huh? the sweet lady, came through here just a minute ago. They says you're gonna destroy things, right? <gasps> Don't do it, mate. He's the only reason I've been living it up down here. He should be here any minute now, right? To give me more sacks. Father. Here's another one of uh, Happy Stores. So what do you think about this cave system? Well, I think Pinstripe's got quite an operation down here. Oh, oh, oh. could have swore on my mother's breath that it would be warmer underground. Speaking of which, Mr. Pinstripe, yeah, let, me, let me see if I, can, uh, if I can find it in here. Right, right, here, here, it, here it is. Uh, I'll sell this so for 500 suit teardrops, for 500 you can buy frozen drops. Mr. Pin, uh, Pinstripe's suit. And it's pretty cool looking, but again, you cannot afford that on the first playthrough. It's impossible. So. Okay. Let's go back real quick. We gotta do a couple things before we go further. Uh, if you look at the the wall, the wall it says "Daddy." Uh, it's important. You'll need that uh, a little bit later. There's a puzzle coming up right here. So if you look, there's three red orbs, and one says D, one says A, and one says Y. All you really gotta do. Looks like those sack things we fed the tree in Edgewood. Is spell Daddy. But it looks like it's sleeping or something. And smells like eggs. Nice. Nice. Well, that's not how you spell daddy. Let's try that again. D. A. D. D. 
So now he's pooping out the fruit or something. I don't even know what's going on here. Right there. another lock. I think this one's a little bit harder. This is four. Probably looks easy, but it's harder than it looks. There we go. A bath? Ted, I think something is in there. Nothing unusual, just a guy taking a bath and then disappearing. Yeah, we'll leave him alone. There's a, on the back, you can, on the back wall, you can see it says me. Again, that's going to be another key to a puzzle. Drop down here. see please is written on the back and it's kind of hard to see but it says please right there so for this for this one you're going to be spelling it out save me This one ferments the sack juice or something. I don't know. This one smells like hoop. Let's try that again. S A B E F. Out those Check teeth. Out those teeth. Ugh. Ugh. This one smells like straight up milk breath. I think I got a little ahead of myself here. Let's do this real quick. Watch this. There we go. So that's doing its thing. Then we come back down here, and now we should be able to spell save me. Got a little ahead of myself there. If you can't already tell, I am really bad at platformers. Daddy, please save me. 
Did you enjoy my little messages on the walls? I just couldn't help myself, Ted. Bo is mine, you asshole! Diddy, Diddy, save me! Oh, I'm sorry, Bo. Your daddy is running around like a stupid idiot! <laughs> Not wait for the ceremony! Your little pale white boy face will stream with tears, Ted. And my flesh will tingle with joy when I see it. <sighs> oh, there he goes again, thrusting at us. That's weird, and another big pile of shit. Go ahead and swish that for absolutely no reason. Hello, father. Welcome to Pissboard Falls. Lift tickets to Red Wash of 300 Frozen Drops. Alright, so here's the only item in the game that you can purchase, that you can afford, and that you absolutely have to afford. I mean, there's no other way to finish the game without getting 300 Frozen Drops. And we are very far away from that. But luckily, right here. Looks like a gas line. Gas line we turn the gas to on. We go back to places pass, that we couldn't shoot, go before. Pissword Falls and Red Wash. And uh, break some things open that gives us some, some quick teardrops. And this is like a little Flappy Bird. I don't know if you guys have played Flappy Bird before. It's like a little Flappy Bird mini game. It's actually pretty easy. Kind of touch the edges and it won't fail you. There we go. So now, if you look, we got fire. So if I shoot my uh, my slingshot through that, it turns our shots into fire, which is gonna open up a lot for us in the previous sections. And actually, I think I'm gonna end it right here because this is really getting close to to the end of the game. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, comment, and press the bell icon so you get notifications when I post another video. And I'll see you guys next time.